the two big lineup against Florida than y'all really have all year? Just what led to that? Well, nothing other than we we just felt like that uh, you know it was something we could do, and because they play you know two big guys, they actually run four through there. But uh, we're not opposed to doing it. Uh, that's what the game calls for, and actually we had you know. We don't mind it at all, really, but uh, that way we can cut down Joe's minutes some too because we do think he's been in a lot of minutes here early. But uh, just I thought JP really looked comfortable. I thought he was confident, and uh, both Tobey and obviously Jones had another good game. Coach, I know minutes are always big, but just early in conference play for JP for Freddie to like get a taste of it and it really kind of start to appreciate the grind, how, how big is it for them to... Well, it, it, is, it is, Rob, if, if they, if they uh, embrace the preparation, you know, if they can come back each day, and that's where they, all the younger guys have started understanding how important uh, listening and in, in terms of game preparation and understanding, too, that uh, at any point in time, uh, you know, they could uh, be called on, and but it's really... Really, it's neat watching them this time of year. Where it, and sometimes it takes guys less time, but normally I would say it's normal for freshmen to maybe start to understand it more about this time of year. But uh, we're just happy that those guys are their, their uh, ability to start to prepare the right way is what's happening. What stands out about Alabama? Well, you know they're the number one uh, offensive team in the country, and Mark Sears is oh boy, he's playing great basketball. They've got a lot of really good shooters around him, and. Uh, the thing that has impressed me is I think they've gotten so much better, uh, like most teams normally do with their defense. I'm very efficient with that too. But uh, they, the way they play, it's a, as you know, uh, Nate's always done a great job with his team, putting them in the right spots to be effective and be efficient, and he's done it with this team. What does Mark Sears do to be such an effective? Player? Well, he he, uh, he can score it. Uh, I mean, you got to find him early because he can take it and go. Uh, Really does a great job of squaring his shoulders to the rim and and uh, finds people. You know he uh, he can score it himself, but he 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 knows that those got they've got those shooters in the corners for the most part. And and uh, I like the fact I think he puts the ball where it needs to be. What's the best course defensively to force a team that doesn't want to shoot mid-range jumpers into shooting mid-range jumpers? Well, it's hard to do that. It it, it is. I mean, because again, uh, Nate has him so well coached and drilled that. Uh, they know what they want and what they're looking for, and uh, and you know you can't give. They got so many guys, you can't give them any daylight because they will shoot it quick and they get their feet set quick, and uh, obviously they practice that. And so, if you go to sleep for just a little bit, somebody's gonna get a good look at it. When you go back and watch film, is Dalton's play lately even more impressive than it is in the games? Well, again, he did some things the other night that we knew know that he's capable of. You know, he, he got on the glass. You know, he, he had the tip dunk and. Uh, you know, and he's and he's definitely trying to guard. You know, putting more effort into the, the defensive end of it, and uh, just not just being a guy that uh, you know he's shown all year he can score at a, in a lot of different ways. But when he can add getting out running in transition, getting to the offensive glass, and then if he just does his work early defensively, he's proven he can do it on that end. And uh, we expect him to get better. And I mean, will he get 39 or 40 every night? We don't expect that, but we do expect him to take his shots when he's open. And uh, we also talked about with him in film, you know, he had a chance to get off the ball a couple of times quicker. That would have got his teammates a little bit, you know, a better look at it. And all those things, as he sees different defenses, will eventually he'll he'll work his way through that too. Have you seen Jonas's confidence grow over these last couple of games? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think Jonas is confident. I, I do. I, I just think that when he really uh, – really works hard to get his space and uh, you know the closer he is to the rim he's got a really quick second and third jump and his length is really a factor there and when he uh, is fighting for his space that's when he's really effective. How valuable is Josiah's versatility? I mean Joe I mean there's I, I can't can't think of anything he hasn't done since he's been here you know, he's played every position on the floor for us and uh, continues to uh, do whatever. Again, I talked about he and Santi and Jamal Meshack and even Zakai. Those guys, even if they don't score a point, they, they impact winning some way, somehow with uh, what they do, both uh, whether it's setting their teammates up on the offensive end, screening for them, getting them open, and defensively they fix each other's mistakes in, in a great way. Coach, what does it 
say about Santi as a teammate but a guy that you know has been your leading scorer in the past is it's a prolific you know I guess finding ways to help this team without scoring well it, Santi's always done that even in uh, I mean he I mean he loves to I mean Santi's one of the best defensive players in the country and uh, and he certainly uh, offensively you know he's he's never been a selfish player I mean but anything he's too unselfish because you know we He's probably been the guy we've asked to shoot more than any guy we've ever coached, and uh, but uh, but he he just is one of those guys, and I respect him for it. He knows if he feels he's he's going he feels it. If not, he's going to try to do something to get his teammates open. And what he does too, I mean, he is very conscientious of when uh, just like Dalton the other night. He he I think more than anybody knew that he had a rhythm going, and he was looking for him, trying to get him set up and. And I think Santi really tries to do that for Jonas too, trying to get Jonas involved. And Santi sees the game in a, in a great way. I mean, he I mean he is very in tune with what's going on out there, and and uh, can put guys in different spots. Like from a sideline out of bound, baseline out of bound situation, he'll move people around to, to put them in the right spots. At what he sees that needs to be done at that point in time. You said before that Dalton's very mindset-oriented player. What has been the biggest shift in his mindset that's led to his success? I would say the biggest thing is knowing that he that he can impact the game in different ways. Learning that that he you know again when he makes shots and that's all nice and looks good and and uh, he can do a lot of spectacular things with the ball. But knowing that he can impact the game other ways, I think that's been his biggest shift. What makes you want to push him so hard? Cause do what? What makes you want to push Dalton so hard? It seems like you're on him a lot. Well, I think I think that's true of any player. I think from a coaching standpoint, we see players where where they. I think players see where they are right now. I think coaches see where they can be. And that's why we try to keep pushing them, you know, because, you know, we've got good players, but we, we know they can be better. We know the better they become, the better our team becomes. And the key is getting them to understand what we see. And, and uh, some guys you don't have to because other guys, some guys just see it and they want to go at it. But uh, for the majority of guys, uh, it's your job as a coach to get them to see what you know they can become. How prone is he? How much does he embrace being pushed? Oh, he does. I mean, he. I mean, every day. I mean, he. He. Never, first of all, he. Know, he signed up for it. You know, because we talked about it, and. Uh, and I think he would tell you that I've lived up to my end of the bargain. You know, but uh, he. Uh, he. Uh, he does. He embraces it. You know, he. He's one of those guys that, in practice, he comes out here knowing that I'm going to get get it. But I, I do it with all of them. I mean, I don't think he thinks anything about it other than that, if he's not ready to play, I'm going to. I'm going to try to light a fire under him, you know. Anything else? I'm not sure if you're aware, but today's Dolly Parton's birthday. Do you have a message for Dolly? Keep singing. <laughs> Keep doing it. You know, why stop? She's such an icon in this state and around the world. She, uh, happy birthday to her for one, but uh, keep doing what you're doing. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thanks, you really don't expect Dalton to score 40 every